More than 157 million of us will be filing taxes this tax season with the average refund check being about $3,200. That's a good payday for a scammer who are busy looking to steal what Uncle Sam owes us. Seven on Your Side has tips to keep you from getting tax hacked, including the red flags to look out for. Here's Nina Pineda. How could they have cashed that check? Business owner Susan Safas was stumped when her tax check made out to the U.S. Treasury was stolen. But what happened to the Long Island taxpayer is very common. We have to be very, very careful because they're out there trying to do everything they can. Former New Jersey Consumer Affairs Commissioner and now host of What the Hack podcast, cybersecurity expert Adam Levin warns scammers are using artificial intelligence for deep fakes like phony phone calls. Even if the, the caller ID says Internal Revenue Service, hang up because it's not. The IRS doesn't call you. They don't send you email. They don't send you texts that when they initially reach out to you, they reach out by way of snail mail. And we've even seen instances recently of snail mail that looks extremely authentic coming from the IRS that isn't coming from the IRS. So get proactive, file early and beat scammers to the punch and get an IRS ID protection PIN. This PIN used to be only for people who had identity theft in the past, but now the IRS is making it possible for anyone to opt in and get a six digit code. It's basically a PIN number for your taxes. If you email, text, or share your pay stubs, tax forms, or social security number, bet that someone will steal your ID and... You attempt to file a tax return and you're blocked uh, because you're notified that someone using a social security number that is on your tax return, that that social security number has already been used in a previous filing that year. There's plenty of assistance for tax help. Members of the military get free prep from the Department of Defense. There's volunteer tax planning for certain income brackets and no cost counseling for the elderly. And New York is also part of a new IRS pilot program where you can file directly and electronically for free. We put all of those links right here on our website, ABC7NY.